can't believe it's Thursday already. I'm so excited. Um, I've spent three days this week working from home and I am loving it. I don't know that Gabe is loving it too much. I think he's ready for me to go back down to the practice. I think I'm cramping his style a little bit. <laughs> but what I wanted to talk with you about today was, um, you know, infusing spiritual practice with your private practice. Is it something you should do? How does it help? What, what even is it? So um, spiritual practice is really looking at routines, strategies, processes, tools and rituals that you as a practice owner can use that help you anchor back into your purpose. So when I'm talking about purpose in this sense, I'm thinking about your soul purpose. So soul is your feminine energy, okay? Your soul is all around um, receiving, your soul is around conceiving and your soul is around perceiving. Spirit, on the other hand, is really around some of that more masculine energy and activity and, you know, going out and seeking and doing all of these really exciting things, looking for inspiration and kind of acting on that. So when we're thinking about what spirituality looks like in your practice, it can look like all kinds of things, but it's going to be at the end of the day, um, something, a tool, a technique, a process that anchors back into what you feel your sense of purpose is at the moment. And your sense of purpose can change over time and it can evolve over time and that's okay because when you're evolving, you're growing, yeah? When um, you step into fear, you're growing. When you um, problem solve, you're growing. And so you're going to be evolving, which means perhaps for some of you, your purpose might change over time as well. That's okay. Um, but there are certain things that you can do to infuse your spiritual practice into your private practice that are going to help you feel more grounded, more like the practice is in flow, more like you're lit up and you're just going to love going to work because work is an extension of you. It's an extension of your energy. It's an extension of your soul and spirit. And that, like, how cool is that? And guess what? When you're operating in that state, when you're operating from a flow state, everything just feels so much easier and there's less efforting, you know, there's less push, there's less struggle. And that's one of the most beautiful things about really having um, true alignment in the practice between your purpose and the business. When we're talking about the business, we're talking about all kinds of elements in the business. So um, this is um, calling in the right types of clients, using attraction marketing so that you're not selling and so that you're not pitching, but people are coming to you for the way that you operate and for um, the feeling that they have that they are also aligned with you and your purpose. So there are lots of different ways that you can infuse spiritual practice into your private practice that elevate the practice experience for your clients, that elevate the practice experience for your team, that elevate the practice experience for your referrers and your third parties, and that elevate the experience for your audience. I mean, you just can't go wrong. If you want to learn more about this stuff, I would love, love, love you to come and join me in my group. Um, for information, please send me a message and I'll send you the details. But it's a private practice mentorship group and it's the only group that's for private practice owners who love spirituality and who are um, ready to embrace it and want to start infusing some of these things into their practice too. And it's so beautiful and you get coached in there. So um, you can bring along any of your private practice queries or questions and I'm personally going to coach you through them. And yeah, I just did a live training in there a moment ago around how private practice owners can use spiritual practice to start, um, you know, filling the diaries again, because I know a lot of people have had some struggle with um, referral drop-offs of late. So I wanted to help you guys with that as well. So that's in there and um, that will stay in that group. And so if you'd like to watch it, just join and you can go and see that too. I hope that you have a beautiful uh, rest of the Thursday night. I'm going to go for a big walk now and get outside before it rains. But thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so, 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 so much, guys. Have a lovely night. Bye.